Hey there Aries, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana and this is a reading for November for Aries. Um, I'm sitting by an open window because it's absolutely gorgeous outside. It's 70 degrees and sunny. There's snow on the mountain caps over there. It's just an absolutely glorious day. So if you hear dogs barking or, or yard equipment going on, um, just ignore it, okay? Because it's just too beautiful not to sit by an open window. All right, Aries, well, this is your reading for November. You know, put it where it goes. Uh, could be happening, could not have happened yet, could have already happened for you. Um, as always, this is a reading for the collective of Aries. So please, 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 please don't make any life altering decisions based on a general tarot card reading, mine or anybody else's. Okay. That's just not prudent. It's not prudent Aries to make decisions off of a general tarot card reading because everybody's journey is different. If you would like a reading from me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Link in the box below. All right, Aries, let's do this. Okay. Let's do this. I really didn't even need any clarifying cards. To tell you the truth, I used almost the entire deck of cards on this reading. And I just kept going, just kept flipping. There's hardly any clarifying cards, okay? It's pretty straightforward, Aries. So this is what's going on. All right. So Aries, you open this reading with the Eight of Cups, right? Um, there's a lot of disappointment. There's a disappointment because you feel abandoned some way, somehow, okay? Either somebody abandoned you you or you abandoned somebody else okay to judgment ignoring the call you want to reach out to this person but you're not at least at this at the beginning of this reading you're not you're not reaching out you are ignoring the call to reach out to this person the world in reverse talks about an imbalance, a misalignment of values okay there's just you're you're just I just feel an energy of just just mad, just mad, right? Ace of Cups in reverse talks about repressed emotions because of the Seven of Swords, lies, betrayal, deceit, lying, cheating, stealing, shady behavior, just no bueno, right? No bueno, just not good. Somebody was just, uh, just didn't treat you right, Aries, and you kind of, you kind of disgruntled about it, right? Ten of Cups tells me that this was some kind of significant relationship in your life where there was a, a severe misalignment of values and a breakup, okay? Some kind of breakup in a relationship. And it could be family. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be work, right? Um, I've broken up with some friends, right? I mean, it, it doesn't have to be a love relationship, okay? Two of Wands comes in and talks about um, the future, right? This is planning for the future, it's, it's progress, it's decisions, it's discovery. You're thinking about the future, okay? Thinking about the future. To the King of Cups, in the center of your reading, this entire reading revolves around your feelings, Aries, your feelings, okay? So there is a King of Cups in the center of your reading. Could it be talking about a specific person? It could be. It could be talking about the person that has hurt you here, Aries. But nevertheless, this whole reading is about your feelings, okay? Your feelings. The Two of Wands to the King of Cups is clarified by the Two of Swords in reverse, right? There is some indecision that you have going on here. Some indecision about giving and receiving um, in a commitment with this person, okay? with this person. The Prince of Cups says that you feel like it's unrealistic to um, give and receive or commit to this person because you have been disconnected from them for a good long minute. You are disconnected from this person. You don't feel like it's, it's realistic to re-engage with this person. Five of Cups in reverse says that you, um, you would like to have some forgiveness in this situation, but nevertheless, you've just kind of moved on from the feelings of loss and regret and despair. Seven of Wands in reverse says that you've given up. You've given up. Who's given up? You, Aries, the emperor, okay? You have given up. You've just, you just, it's just like, boof. It's just blah, blah, right? 
Prince of Swords talks about wanting to take some action, though. See, Aries, you really haven't given up. You really haven't given up because if you would have been, if you would have given up, we wouldn't be doing this reading right now, right? So really deep down in your subconscious mind, you have not given up on um, hopes of giving and receiving and commitment with this person. You haven't. If you had, there wouldn't be the King of Cups in the center of your reading, right? This Emperor, you, Aries, wants to take some action, action oriented communication. You would like to communicate with this person about the lost opportunity, okay? About the lost opportunity between you. The Queen of Cups in reverse. We have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. This is soulmate type of, of energy, but you have lost the love of the Queen of Cups because she's in reverse. You've lost the love of the Queen of Cups. This is also about emotional insecurity, right? As much as you'd like to take some action um, about the lost opportunity, you have a lot of emotional insecurity and this also represents the loss of love here, okay? Four of Swords in reverse talks about you being mentally restless. Okay. Being mentally restless. There's a lack of progress and you're mentally restless about it. Like I said, you haven't really given up in your, in, in, in your ego, you've moved on and you've given up, but not really, not really Aries. You can't fool me. I'm a channeler. I know. Okay. Look at this. Look at this Aries. This is one deck of cards almost a whole deck and it's one right after the other, right? So the tower in reverse talks about a personal transformation. It talks about, um, you coming to terms with the fact that you really haven't given up on this whole situation to the nine of wands in reverse. This is about being hesitant though, defensive, right? Defensive, hesitant, to, to actually take any action in this situation, to give and receive with this person. King of Swords in reverse says that you're still a little bit angry. Either you're angry or they're angry, okay? Still a little angry about the whole thing. To the Six of Cups in reverse. This anger makes reuniting or reconciling with someone from your past unrealistic in your mind, right? However, you're still stuck there though. You're still stuck in the past, even though you feel that it's unrealistic to try to reconcile your differences in a love relationship, some kind of significant relationship in your life where there has been a regretful but necessary transition in the past. Queen of Swords again, right? So we have the King of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Swords in reverse. Y'all are both pissed off at each other. Both of y'all are mad at each other. Okay. Mad, not speaking, not speaking kind of mad. Okay. Not speaking. Princess of Pentacles comes in and talks about manifesting though, wanting to, to manifest out of the creative block. This Empress in reverse is a creative block, right? You Aries want to manifest out of this whole situation, right? You want to manifest out of this whole situation and you're pulling on some inner strength, not inner strength, strength in general to do this, right? You, you're, you're trying to be strong. I think you're trying, I think you're really weighing ego against logic and reasoning ego against, um, your feelings, right? I, I, I just feel, cause you know what? This emperor right here is right underneath this king of cups, right? And you're struggling Aries. You're struggling with your ego against your emotions and your intellect is saddled in anger. Okay. The devil in reverse. This is your limiting beliefs, right? Your limiting beliefs 
about the situation. So at this point with this card, you're beginning to kind of kind of reevaluate the situation a little bit with this devil in reverse, wondering if it was as bad as maybe you thought it was, if maybe there was a misunderstanding. You're just you're just you're just uh, reevaluating your beliefs limiting beliefs about this situation. Death in reverse, a personal transformation, right? You are beginning to transform how it is. You're beginning to transform your perspective about this situation, okay? Temperance in reverse talks about some self-healing, doing some self-healing, realigning your values, transforming what you think about this situation. Nine of Pentacles in reverse talks about an overinvestment to the Three of Cups in reverse, a third party situation to the Princess of Swords in reverse, all talk, no action. So what this tells me is that um, either you or this other person um, foolishly invested in a third party situation and it didn't work for you. It did not work out for them or for you. It didn't work out, right? And um, perhaps that's the anger that is here. Perhaps that's why there's no creation happening between you and this person in a significant relationship, right? Perhaps that's where all of the anger and everything's coming from because somebody foolishly engaged, over-invested in a third-party situation, and it caused the disintegration of this significant relationship in your life. The Eight of Swords talks about you um, contemplating change. Look to the Four of Swords, contemplating. This is you in your mind trying to wrap your brain around how you can change this situation. The alchemist, right? Manifesting. You are thinking about how to change this situation. You want to manifest justice. You want to manifest justice into this situation because, um, like I said, the struggle, right, between the ego and the feelings. Um, you want to manifest change. You really do, Aries. The king of wands, there you are. The king of fire, right? You, Aries, want success and achievement in this situation. The hangman has you processing, thinking about what it is you're going to do, how it is you're going to change this situation. What are you going to do? This is processing everything in order to come out on the other side with a new perspective, right? There's the four of cups in reverse, a lost opportunity. You are contemplating how to turn this lost opportunity into success. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This is about lacking ambition or focus, okay? You are concerned that this other person is lacking ambition or focus to rectify this situation. The Prince of Wands. You want to take some inspired action. You really do, Aries. You want to take some inspired action, right? Because it's been too long. It's been too long with the um, Prince of Pentacles in reverse. It's just been too long. There has been this void between you and this significant person in your life for too long. Princess of Cups, you want to deliver a message of creation. This is a message of, of exploring feelings, right? Hey, how you been? Want to talk? The hermit, soul searching and introspection about how you should handle this to the four of pentacles in reverse because you're super self-protective, right? Super self-protective. Again, the ego is, is kind of a, a theme here, right? Seven of pentacles, reflecting and assessing how it is you're going to have a turning point in this relationship. The hierophant, right? This is about commitment. This is about commitment, okay? It's just commitment. Two of swords, indecision, confusion. You, you don't know how to go about fixing this situation. 
Ace of Wands. You want to take some inspired action. You want to have an inspired, passionate new beginning with this person. You want to resurrect, recover, regenerate something that was dead. Dead because of some kind of third party situation. You want victory, progress, success, right? Gaining some self-confidence to approach this person. Five of Wands in reverse. This is all about an increased focus on goals. This is also about avoiding conflict, right? Which I think you've done till this point rather successfully. You've avoided conflict with this person. Probably some kind of blockage. There's no communication happening between the two of you. Seven of Cups in reverse. This is about... Um, diversionary tactics, which goes right back to avoiding conflict, right? You have been avoiding this person for a long time. To the Queen of Wands in reverse, because this person was, um, hold up. Queen of Wands in reverse is aggressive, demanding, jealous, insecure, okay? And I think because of this third party situation that's happening here, that that's what you're concerned about, right? You're concerned that this person is still super pissed off because of a third party situation and they were jealous. I'm sorry to say Aries, but I think it was you that um, entered into a third party situation and this other person is was i don't know if they still are but they were extremely upset extremely upset so much so that you aren't speaking right to the king of pentacles in reverse um domineering controlling authoritative worried about appearances control power stability in the upright in the reverse, out of control, out of control. The situation is out of control. There is no balance. There is no stability. To the sun, happiness, success, and vitality. That's what you want, Aries. That's what you want. Happiness, success, and vitality in this situation is what you want. Eight of Wands, movement, action energetic shift, communication. It's what you're going to do. I do believe that you're going to reach out and communicate with this person, that you're going to bury the ego. You're going to come to terms with your feelings. You're going to wrap your brain around this, and you are going to take inspired action to communicate with this person. Could be vice versa. I mean, it is a general reading. If this was a personal reading, we could tell you who this is and why and how and how they feel, right? That's one of my specialties is hopping into somebody else's energy and telling you how they feel about you. If this was a personal reading, this wouldn't be so ambiguous. We would know exactly who, what, when, where, and why. But because it's a general reading, I have to do and, if, and buts, right? So you're going you're gonna to communicate with this person because you want to come out of the cold, you want to come out of spiritual poverty. You want to come out of the cold. You want hope, faith, purpose, and renewal in this relationship. And the Two of Cups. You want to reestablish a unified partnership with this person. Okay? A unified partnership. Like I said, this could be family. This could be friends. This could be work. This could be pretty much anything. I mean, there's all the cards here of a love relationship, but whatever you're feeling when you're hearing me read this, that's what it is for you, right? That's what it is for you. So there you go, Aries. That is your reading. Um, the basic synopsis is that something really bad happened in the past. Somebody betrayed somebody. Somebody definitely betrayed somebody. And there are um, all kinds of repressed emotions. There is all kinds of desire to want to reunite and reconcile. But for some reason, it's unrealistic. The reason, for some reason, is the anger, right? Where's that Queen of Swords in reverse? 
anger, anger between the two of you because somebody over-invested in a third-party situation and didn't deliver the promise that was made to each other in the first place, right? Tons of anger. Needs to be some justice. You're trying to manifest some justice in this situation, right? Right? Your, your ego, your ego is saying, nah, nah. But your heart is saying differently, Aries. Your heart is telling me something different than what you're trying to get me to believe. <laughs> you're trying to get me to believe that eh, you're okay with it. But I'm a channeler, Aries. I channel your subconscious mind. I channel the things that not even you know that you feel just yet. And these cards tell me that you have much love for this person. And you have sorrow, regret, and disappointment that things went shady, that things went south. And you really, you really, really want to come out of the cold. You're going to communicate because your objective is happiness, success, and vitality. You want hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. And you want a unified partnership, a unified love relationship with this person. There you go, Aries. You know what I say? This is Dana advice. This isn't tarot advice. This is Dana advice. Do it. Do it, Aries. What do you have to lose? All they can do is tell you to fuck off, right? What do you have to lose? Everybody's always so afraid. Everybody's always so scared of rejection. Screw it. What have you got to lose? This life is short. I'm here to tell y'all, this life is short. We've got 80, 90, 100 years, maybe if you're super lucky. This life is short. Do not let ego and pride get in the way of something that could be amazingly beautiful. Don't settle for anything less than exactly what it is that you want in life, Aries. Okay? Reach out. Make the phone call. If they reject you, they reject you. At least you know that you tried. At least you know that you gave it your all, right? So there you go, Aries. Good luck with everything and namaste.